A Moses Lake couple is accused of stealing more than $19,000 in items from a fairway drive home while the owner was asleep. Prosecutors charged Chad Faircloth, a 25-year-old man, and Cicely McFarland, a 24-year-old woman, in Grant County Superior Court with burglary, traffic in, in stolen property, and 10 counts of theft of a firearm. The couple reportedly broke into McFarland's ex-boyfriend's father's home while the victim was sleeping. They allegedly stole 13 firearms along with the television, an Xbox 360, and other stuff. Faircloth and McFarland reportedly took multiple trips to take all the items. They both allegedly told officers they sold some of the firearms to buy methamphetamine. A car top carrier came loose on Interstate 90, causing a car, two SUVs, and a van to collide on Sunday morning. Three people were injured during the multiple car collision just east of the Grant Kittitas County line. Eric Batacchio, a 27-year-old Bonnie Lake resident, was driving west in a silver 2007 Subaru Outback when he allegedly an object came out of his car top carrier. According to the Washington State Patrol, a black Toyota Highlander slowed to avoid the object and was rear-ended by a beige 1998 Acura TL sedan. A gray 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee collided with the Highlander SUV and a white Chevrolet Uplander van struck the Cherokee. Patacho was not injured, but the state patrol issued him a ticket for driving with an unsecured load. The Uplander driver, a 41-year-old Woodenville resident, and his passengers, a 13-year-old boy and a 9-year-old boy, received minor injuries and were treated at the scene. In Northwest News, a man trying to rescue two stranded hikers fell to his death. J.B. Bryson was training with Skagit County Search and Rescue on Saturday when the two hikers fell and rescuers raced to the scene. As they tried to reach the stranded hikers, Bryson also fell and was killed. His family gathered at his house last night to remember him. One of the hikers was also killed. The second managed to cling to a tree and was rescued. Superintendent of Instruction Randy Dorn is making another attempt to get Washington excused from requirements of the federal No Child Left Behind law. His office has sent a letter to the U.S. Department of Education asking that Washington schools not be required to send letters home to parents explaining that they are not making adequate yearly progress and that kids can transfer to a school that is. Dorn says those letters don't serve any useful purpose because nearly every school in the state is not making adequate yearly progress according to the requirements of the No Child Left Behind law. As of 2014, the federal education law requires that nearly every student is doing math and reading at grade level. If even one kid doesn't pass statewide exams, their school probably won't be making adequate yearly progress. And that's going to do it for us here at i 501 News. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.